let's get ourselves to Dallas. here and well I've got a life update for you so much has happened since my last one so I thought this would be a good time to bring you all up to speed where do I even begin let me start with my health so good news I'm not allergic to fish I'm not allergic to anything I went to one of the top allergists in Los Angeles and she told me I've got nada so what the heck happened to me well I got something called scombroids poisoning which is a toxin in a fish that literally anyone could get randomly at random and then have an allergic reaction so I did have an allergic reaction it's just that I don't have the allergy I just got a poisoning that's first so I'm stoked that I don't have an allergy so what does that mean for me well I can go about doing what I do and I'm gonna keep the EpiPen on me just because I have a little PTSD from that whole night and I don't want to get strong broids poisoning again so I asked her if I do happen randomly get it again what do I do and she said use the EpiPen so I will carry it around with me just in case you just like never know so that what happened to me <laughs> the next thing is coral sword coral sword has been open for one full year we did it we've been open for a year a lot of ups a lot of downs we got broken into twice we're still going through a little bit of growing pains realizing that certain tables or certain you know drinks didn't work or the seating we need more seating which is a great problem to have we need more you know coral sword swag because people want a ton of that so these are all great problems to have but it's being able to grow with coral sword and just giving the people what they want also coral sword is just like our baby it's my baby it's hunter's baby it's all david ming sandy's baby and we just love it so much and getting to spend the time that we got there in houston oh i just freaking love it i freaking loved it there every single minute i would literally wake up head there and then stay there till it closed and then come to bed <laughs> and then do the same thing all over again. But it has everything that we love. It has board games, it has video games, it has pizza, it has beer, wine, coffee, tea, a streaming booth, literally anything you could ask for, they have it. So I just like, I loved going and getting to spend time with there. I wish I got more time to spend there, but you know, unfortunately Hunter and I can't. But hopefully this season, we will. Speaking of this baseball season, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm in a new house because we're at spring training. And while we were in Houston, we signed with the Texas Rangers. It's an exciting moment because, you know, Hunter went into free agency and the Giants decided to go a different way. It's kind of like being broken up with, you know, and them not wanting you back or calling you or anything. So it's like, you know, all right, well, we have to move on, you know? And we love San Francisco. We love the people. We love the culture. We loved our home there. Oh, my home. I have so many friends there that I absolutely adore and... We didn't want to say goodbye, but we have to follow Hunter's passion and his dream, and that's to play baseball. So for us to say goodbye, and if you haven't read Hunter's Players Tribune essay on his goodbye to San Francisco, please just stop this video and go head over and do that because it was so heartfelt, and watching him write that was so sweet and so precious. I'm gonna try not to cry because I cried so much in 2018 that I don't wanna cry now, but I just hope you guys know uh, how much we appreciate all of your support throughout the years, how much you supported Hunter and I, how much you supported Hunter, the Giants, how much you supported me, and let's get Lexi. I mean, I hope you guys don't stop following me or Hunter. I hope you continue to support us along this next journey as we go to Texas, which we're also very excited about. Hunter has always dreamt about playing at the Texas Rangers Stadium because that's where he grew up and he always thought that would be such a cool place for him to go and call his office. And so now he's getting to live out a childhood dream of his, which is very, very cool. And I'm excited because Dallas is a whole new market. Obviously Hunter has to make the team. He signed a minor league deal, but I'm staying positive and I hope he does. But if not, we'll see what happens from there. You know, if minor leagues is where we head, the minor leagues is where we head. You know, this year has a lot of uncertainty for us and it's exciting, it's a little scary, but I think that's what you call growing pains, right? Like not knowing. So it was a little scary to like not know where spring training was gonna be. Like, are we going to Florida? Are we going to Arizona? Um, and then not have a spring training house to set up. But we got super lucky and we found this beautiful house, which I can't wait to show you guys a tour of. And then now to like meet this whole new team. You know, Hunter is in Surprise, which we've never been, well, we've never lived there because we've always been in Scottsdale. So this is just like a whole new world for us. And I've only had to look for spring training housing and now I have to look for housing in Dallas. And now I I have to figure out what we're gonna do with our San Francisco apartment. Am I gonna move it? Like what's, you know, a lot of decisions to be made. I love San Francisco so much. And like I said, I like really love the people there. And I love you guys. And 
I'm a little scared of this next step just because I, it's so unknown. But I guess that's the beauty of it, right? Like I have to really grow into this and I think somewhere deep down inside, you know, I definitely was preparing for this, but like now it's actually happening and it's gonna be such an adventure for Hunter and I as a couple, him as a baseball player and me just as a person, this is gonna really challenge me in new ways you know, to explore a whole new city again and, you know, to find a new place and make new friends. So any Pinas out in Dallas, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have any suggestions on what I can do in Dallas, let me know below. Or like trying to figure out a place in Dallas to live and I don't know very much about Dallas, but I think it's gonna be terrifying in a really great way. I just like know I'm gonna meet amazing people in Dallas. I know it, like I know, like I know, like I know. I know Dallas is gonna be amazing. And I guess it's just the comfort of being in San Francisco and leaving that and that security is so hard. You know, life has a real fun way. When you get comfortable, it knows how to just shake up your world. So I'm excited for this opportunity. I'm seeing what Dallas has to offer and I'm excited to meet all the Dallas fans and I'm excited to meet the Texas Rangers and I'm just excited what this year has in offer. I feel really good. I feel really good. Well, I hope you guys continue with me on this next journey with the Texas Rangers. I'm very excited and I am looking forward to meeting everyone there, the wives, the team, the fans, and getting to know the city and really embracing it. And um, let's go Rangers. Thanks guys, see you next time, bye.